This is Operation Kingslayer. Listen up. Our field of operation is Bolivia. Dense jungles, freezing mountains, and salt flats. If you don't watch your back, you won't leave it alive. Your target is the Santa Blanca drug cartel. Their network relies on fear, violence, and intimidation. You'll need to destroy them from the inside. Destabilize each aspect of their operations. Production, smuggling, influence, and security to bring them to their knees. You have full autonomy. You pick your targets. You decide how to take them out. Just get it done. Gather your intel. Learn who the players are. Learn their methods. Then destroy them. To make this op a real party, the local military force, Unidad, are on the cartel's payroll. They've been fighting it out with a low-rent rebel group called the Qataris 26. You want to survive? These underfunded and under-equipped rebels are your new best friends. You gotta think. You gotta be strategic. No one will come when you call for help. Use what you can to get the job done. You have your arsenal and every vehicle you can find at your disposal. And don't be afraid to throw out the playbook. Each of you is an elite warfighter, but together you have the strength to take down an army. And remember, ghosts, credit is failure. You will burn the Santa Blanca drug cartel to the ground, but no one will know who was holding the match. El Pozolero, also known as the Stewmaker. Sometimes the cartel needs a dead body to completely disappear without a trace. In such cases, they ship the cadavers off to San Mateo. Last year, more than 300 people disappeared in San Mateo. The first thing El Pozolero does is place the bodies inside a drum barrel, which he fills with caustic soda, sodium hydroxide. After 24 hours, there's nothing left but a thick sludge, a stew. The only one who knows what truly happened to these people is El Pozolero, the monster who melted them. Here we go. The intel we need is supposed to be in this Sicario's house. Looks like it's upstairs. Copy that. Need any help? Nah, I got this. Okay, I'll take a look around. Right, let's try to keep it stealthy. That is one right there. Boom, oh, gotcha. I'm in. Oh shit, I've been spotted. You good? Yep, got him. Just moving upstairs. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, I got the intel on El Pozolero. He's in a camp up in San Mateo. Cool, how far is it? We could use a ride. You got a car out there? No, nope. something better. Oh, hell yeah. You ready to fly? I'm always ready. Let's go. You got it. Man, I never get sick of that view. I know, right? According to the intel, the camp should be near this cliff. El Pozolero is a high valley target. He's going to be well protected. There's a camp. Oh, damn, this one's going to be tough. Yeah, we could definitely use some backup on this one. Hey, you guys need a hand? Right on time. We're going after El Pozolero. We're at the east of the San Mateo base. Got it. We are on our way. We're approaching the camp from the west. We'll meet you there. Copy that. I hear this El Pozolero guy is supposed to be a hard target. How bad does it look? 
See for yourself. Oh, damn. Looks like a whole lot of trouble. Tag the lookout. Can you get him? Roger that. One less to worry about. Okay, we're splitting up. Weaver, can you get to a good sniper position on the south side of the camp? No problem. Alrighty, I'm moving in from the other side. Copy that. We're moving in from the train station at the east end of camp. It's up. Enemy spotted. I got eyes on a sniper. Wait for my signal. Got it. Now. Tango down. Let's move. Okay, wait a minute. I hear something inside. Two guys. I got the one on the right. You ready? Ready. Go. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna deploy the drone and see what's up ahead. Looks like an old town that Santa Blanca's turned into a base. Oh man, there are guards all over the place. That bad? Yep, be careful. One down, so far so good. Found my way in, guys. All right, let's see what's in this big building. Okay, I got him. Red gloves, gas mask. He's got guards with him. Got it. And another one down. I'm moving through. Gotcha. Okay, I'm close to the building. I'll try to find a way in. You saw anything else? Oh man, I think he was dissolving somebody. Like in a can of acid or something. Yeah, looked pretty nasty. Come on, guys, let's move. All right, all right. I think I found my spot. Nearly there. Careful, there's more of them the closer you get. Only one left. Okay, I'm in position. I have three tangos in front of me. Weaver, you think you can help? I got it. Thanks, man. You know I always got your back. Going in. Don't let this guy get away. I see him. We'll talk about nightmare fuel. Call us if you need us. Don't worry, man, I got this. Shit, you spotted me. Guys, I'm spotted. El Pozolero's running. I'm going after him. Where is he? Where is he? Get out of the way, man. Okay, he's in a white SUV heading for the east end of the camp. Following on a bike. Got it, I'm moving to intercept. This camp's on full alert, guys. We need to get out of here fast. Shit, Hulk, get in the car. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Shit, no, he's moving too fast. He went the other way. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. The gate's closing. I am right behind you. Weaver, are you okay? I'm good, but it's getting a little hot up here. I'm pulling out. <gasps> Found a bike, guys. I'm on my way. Hey, watch your fire. We need him alive. I can't get a good shot. This guy's all over the place. Stop moving. Okay, guys, I'm clear. Out of the camp, on the road. Where are you guys? Let me know you're... <laughs> Damn, the whole place is going up. Hey, enjoy the fireworks, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm heading for the chopper now. Damn, he's trying to ram the car. I gotta hit his engine. No, I'll try to slow him down. Go get him, cowboy. I was on the way, guys. I'll run this train. Where's the chopper? Where is it? I found it. Okay, getting in. I'm in the chopper, coming your way. Come on, come on, start up. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. All right, I'm on my way, guys. Hang tight. Oh, no, 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 he's not stopping. Aw, oh, man, come on, come on. I'm trying, just buckle up and open fire. He's a tough one, this guy, huh? Oh! Oh! No, 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 we're not gonna push him Looks off. Looks like he's losing control. 
Can you push him to the side? I don't know how it looks up there, but that's what I'm trying to do. Oh. Oh, 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 boom goes the dynamite. Damn it, he dodged it. Hang on, guys. I'm nearly there. Mm. Oh, damn it. Okay, I got him, I got him, I got him. Yes, he stopped. I'll get him. Be careful. Ride's here. Out you get, buddy. Come on. We'll walk a shame for you. <laughs> Hurry up, we got cartel reinforcements incoming. Up you get, and in you go. Adios. Let's get the hell out of here. I got him in my line of fire. Well, hold him off. I gotta fly this thing. And we are clear, gentlemen. Nice work. That was a tough mission. Oh, man, that was close. Hello, my name is Dominic Butler and I'm the lead game designer on Ghost Recon Wildlands. In Ghost Recon Wildlands, we offer players the total freedom of choice as they fight to take down the Santa Blanca cartel. A few months ago at E3, our four ghosts raided a camp to extract El Pozzolero, a bouchon of the Santa Blanca cartel. Today, we want to show you another way to play the same mission taking a stealth approach and using the cover of night to our advantage. Weaver, Nomad and Holt are base jumping from the helicopter. This is one of the 60 plus vehicles available in the game for you to use as you explore the world. Today, four devs are playing the demo in co-op. But Ghost Recon Wildlands is entirely playable from beginning to end, in solo, where you're supported by your AI teammates. Weaver has landed on a cliff nearby to gain a vantage point and provide cover for Nomad and Holt, who are now landing and moving towards a cartel checkpoint. All four ghosts are now on the ground. Midas will regroup with the others in the camp. Ghost Recon Wildlands features a complete day and night cycle, as well as a realistic weather system which both have an influence on gameplay. Here, for example, nighttime with rainy weather is a perfect combination for a stealthier approach. Ideally, we want to gain access without alerting the cartel, so it's time to be creative. The ghosts know that this truck is being used for local deliveries. If they can take it, they can use it to get into the camp without raising suspicion. Our ghosts are getting into position, now tagging their enemies and identifying their targets. Midas is now using the Slingshot feature to assign targets to his teammates. The Slingshot makes its comeback in Wildlands and is the perfect feature to coordinate your action with your team. Here we go. And that's a perfect execution. Playing solo, you'll be able to issue simple orders to your AI teammates to achieve the same deadly result. Now Nomad and Holt are going to use the truck to get into the camp without being detected. The cartel recognizes this truck and so the ghosts are in. Holt has jumped out of the truck and is preparing a possible exit strategy by placing some C4. Landmines, frag, flash and diversion grenades will also give you the explosive edge and help create diversions. With more than 50 weapons available in the game that you're able to use and customize with hundreds of different attachments, it's up to you to choose the right weapon for the job. 
Each of them has its own ballistics model with piercing, dispersion, and bullet drop. Weaver's now deploying his drone to further recon the area. He switched to thermal vision to easily detect local targets. Other special upgrades can be added to the drone too, including an EMP pulse that deactivates electronics, a noise generator, or high explosives. Okay, that's our guy. El Pozzolero, working late into the night. Now that we have his exact location, Nomad is going to park the truck near to the target. In order to complete your mission, coordination and communication are key. Nomad is now in position, waiting for the right moment to grab the target. Midas is heading towards the camp to rejoin Holt and Nomad. Weaver has located the camp generator with his drone. If the team manages to shut it down, they'll kill power in the camp, which will prevent triggering alarms or secondary reinforcements. Midas is now making his way into the camp, avoiding the patrols en route to the generator. Holt is placing more C4 on the other side of the camp to provide further distraction in case the ghosts need it during their escape. The diversion grenade is another great tool that can be used to distract enemies. Since we're attacking this camp at night, we can take advantage of each NPC's unique day and night agenda. For example, this soldier here is taking a rest. Back to Midas, who's keeping a low profile to avoid being detected. Holt is making his way towards Nomad in El Pozzolero's location. Making sure you don't leave bodies to be discovered is key to preventing the camp going on full alert. You can grab and drag your enemies away from the patrol path, so when you knock them out, they're out of sight. <laughs> 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 
Midas is climbing between the camp buildings to reach a better position. All the while, Weaver continues to provide cover. Having reached the generator, Midas can disable it to kill the lights throughout the camp. Nomad has activated his night vision to get closer to El Pozolero. Now while enemies don't have night vision, they will become suspicious as to why the lights are suddenly out. Now, we need to extract our target from the camp. The enemies are now alerted by the noise and are trying to find its origin. Holt is passing a rebel prison cage. The rebels are another faction in the game. They have their own conflict with the Santa Blanca, so they'll spontaneously engage whenever they get the chance. Nomad has just put our target into the truck and is moving towards the exit. Weaver is liberating another group of rebels. This camp is now erupting into a full gunfight between the rebels and the Santa Blanca. And to provide further disruption, we blow that C4 we placed earlier. Weaver is now headed to rejoin the others, clearing the last of the Santa Blanca in the wild who were attracted by the gunshots. So now with El Pozzolero in our custody, we're going to deliver him to our rally point and learn key information about the cartel and his bosses. That's the end of the demo. I hope you enjoyed seeing our ghosts approaching this mission in stealth. Just one of the many ways you can play Ghost Recon Wildlands. And don't forget to check ghostrecon.com for the latest news and updates on the game. Ghost Recon Wildlands is playable for the first time at this year's E3, giving attendees a chance to tackle a two-part mission to investigate the disappearance of 300 people in Bolivia's San Mateo province. Putting a huge emphasis on four-player co-op, this is a chance to work together as a team in a small slice of Ghost Recon Wildlands' immense open world. And some things stand out more than others. One of the first things we were introduced to in Ghost Recon Wildlands was the portable drone carried by each ghost. Essential for scouting and strategizing, these let us fly freely through our surroundings, spotting and tagging cartel goons, and getting a feel for their hideouts. While small and difficult for cartel soldiers to spot, the drones aren't invisible, and getting too close carried the risk of alerting the camp and giving our target a chance to escape. The Bolivia of Ghost Recon Wildlands is not a heavily militarized country, and civilians are everywhere. The cartel thugs love to mix in with the local population, which introduces an element of uncertainty into nearly every firefight. The ghosts are in Bolivia to liberate civilians, so we had to be sure of our targets before pulling the trigger. That said, we did accidentally kill one chicken that was standing behind the guy we sniped. Vehicles are everywhere in Ghost Recon Wildlands, and they're all yours for the taking. And while it's fun to tear off by yourself on a dirt bike, larger transports are a great way to take advantage of co-op, as one player can take the wheel while everyone else leans out the windows to turn cars into light assault vehicles. This is a lot of fun on the road, but even better in the skies, where squad mates can man the machine guns on choppers to light up any threats below. One of Ghost Recon Wildlands' biggest features is that it lets players pick their own approach to missions, scanning the area for threats and reacting accordingly. Want to line up sniper targets as a team and drop four guys at a time? 
that's a good idea, but it's only the beginning of what's possible. In the second half of our mission, we had one job, infiltrate a village turned prison called Rosario to grab valuable intel from the warden's laptop. How we chose to attack was up to us, but there were a bunch of targets of opportunity that could make any assault easier. We began in the hills surrounding Rosario, sniping the guards at a few key mortar emplacements and lobbing long-distance grenades to make sure nobody else could use them against us. This triggered the alarm, so we tipped the odds in our favor by freeing the cartel's prisoners who, lucky for us, were rebels who provided a capable distraction. And when the cartel scrambled a chopper to take us down, one of our group's better snipers took out the pilot, crashing it. Inside and see but that's just one of many ways we could have handled it. On our second run, for example, we all bailed out of our helicopter directly above Rosario. This turned out to be a disastrous move as it immediately alerted the cartel and nearly tanked the mission because of how quickly we were swarmed. We could have also kept it completely silent, creeping our way to the intel and quietly shooting or choking out any cartel guards who got in our way. Our escape could have been handled any number of ways too, but we always opted for piling into a truck and burning rubber out of Rosario, sometimes blowing up a gas tank just for the fun of it on our way out. It's a huge world of possibility, and it's coming your way on Xbox One, PS4, and PC on March 7th. To find out more about Ghost Recon Wildlands and other upcoming Ubisoft games, keep it at UbiBlog. In dangerous country, you need to adapt to change. Know when to become silent. Untouchable. When to learn alternate methods. Mix up the angle of attack. It's history. Or when absolute firepower is all you need. Our allies are the dirt, the grass, and the sun in the sky. We have no uniform. There is no single path. This is why we win. This is why we are ghosts. Summer soldiers. We gotta catch up to that target. This is DJ Perico with a special message from El Sueño. Bolivia, the nation of Santa Blanca. Yeah, man. And there are children's share. Bases still in the building, flash the camera. I'ma drop the hammer. Things done change the hip hop and then Bobby out the slammer. Hip hop's hard on the east coast and it moves west now down the bama. soldiers. I offer the people a choice to follow me 
or oppose me. If you follow me, I feed your families, give you shelter, medicine, and jobs, shield you from the tyrants, allow La Santa Muerte to protect you from death. I give you power, I make you rich, but most of all, I let you rule like kings. But for those that oppose me, I have only one thing to offer. A promise. To take everything you love and destroy it in front of your eyes. Most of us fear death, but for the Santa Blanca drug cartel, death is a saint. They embrace her, praise her, worship her. They kill thousands without repercussions trafficking poison across South America, corroding governments. How do you fight an enemy that doesn't fear death? 
Maybe you hunt them from the clouds. Got eyes on White Hat. You can't fight the friction! Cocaine is on the move. Cocaine is on the move. Targets are pulling out! Target down! Drop them! Or you fight from the shadows. Attack when they least expect. Pick them apart. Leave no evidence behind. Side. Confuse them. Destroy everything. Decide who lives and who dies. Drone in position. fight an enemy that doesn't fear death. You manipulate them from the inside until the monsters wipe each other out. Yeah. 